Down, down, down by a river. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am the Exploder, and this is Baldur's Gate 3. Kind of. There's a reason why I'm going to be dubbing this episode 0. And it's because, yes, I will be doing a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. And we're going to be doing it not just as a glorified playthrough for fun times, but as a celebration. A celebration of me, you, this channel, and everything else. For you see, for those who have been around for a long time, in the November of this year, November 2024, it will be the 20th anniversary of when I started making videos online. Not necessarily on YouTube, but online in general. Which is incredible. And with that in mind, I want to go on a special adventure with just you guys. I want to do something special with you as a joint venture. And it has to be Baldur's Gate 3. I love this game. I've loved it since early access. I've loved it since patch number one. And now, the last big patch has come, bringing in a mod manager, bringing in a full evil playthrough. And I think now is the perfect time to make this happen as a big celebration of the channel and as something completely and potentially crazy. <laughs> so, we're not just doing a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 and this is why I'm doing an episode 0 because I've got some decisions that I need your guys' help with. Allow me to explain. I thought I'd jump into the character creator in order to dive into things a little bit more. For you see, in order to make this series a little bit more awesome, I want you guys to play a part in it. I just don't want to load the game, dive in with a character and go ham. I want you guys to make some critical decisions along the way. And it starts here before we've even begun the playthrough. So, first major decision that I want you guys to help me decide on. Our origin. Do we start with a custom origin? Where we have a custom character, custom everything and we're good to go. Or, do we start as the Dark Urge? I love the Dark Urge, I really do. And for those who have not played Baldur's Gate 3 without spoilers, all you need to know is that Custom and the Dark Urge have completely different storylines. There is a unique storyline that you can only play through with the Dark Urge, hence why I'm giving you guys a choice, because we can still customize our race class and everything else. So that's your first decision. Do we go custom or do we go dark urge? Now for race, sadly I'm not going to let you guys decide because to make this a little bit more personal, I'm going to be playing as my real life first ever Dungeons and Dragons character, which is a half elf bard by the name of Zyron Vox. This is not how he is going to look. I will be editing him when we get to the actual playthrough himself. I just thought I would make him up so we know what we're playing with. With that in mind, however, I do need you guys to pick the subclass. Or so I say sub-race in this case. Because Zyron is originally a high half-elf in my D&D campaigns. However, I want you guys to decide whether he will stay a high half-elf will become a wood half-elf, or whether he'd be a drow half-elf. This will be option number two for you. High half-elf, wood half-elf, drow half-elf. Now, of course, Bard is already pre-chosen by yours truly, because that is what my D&D character is. However, as a Brucey bonus, only if you are knowledgeable of D&D and knowledgeable about Baldur's Gate 3, if you would like me to play a specific subclass of Bard when we hit level 3, let me know down below. Again, you do not need to if you do not want to, but if you do want to supply me with a suggested subclass that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments as an extra boosty bonus vote. Last but not least is background. And background will only be decided upon if we go custom. So effectively, if you do vote for a custom origin, also pick a background. 
between the options of acolyte, charlatan, criminal, entertainer, outlander, noble, guild artisan, folk hero, which is what Zyron Vox was created to be back in the day, sage, soldier, or urchin. That is up to you to vote for as well. However, the voting doesn't stop there, because that's all the character voting you're going to be doing. The next vote is kind of important, and it involves the other origin characters, or who will become our companions throughout the campaign. I need you guys to pick for me my husbando or waifu. That's right. You guys will get to decide who I end up getting pally pally with on a very close level. Do we pick a stallion, the high elf rogue that everyone goes goo goo gaga for, including myself? Do we go with a gift Yankee fighter, Lazel, who as long as you smash, see smash? Do we go with Gale, the human wizard? That, well, once you go god, <laughs> it's very hard to go back. Am I right? No spoilers, but uh, if you know, you know. Shadowheart, the high elf, or the high half elf, cleric, who go, who's obviously underneath Shah. I romanced, <laughs> I did romance Shadowheart my very first playthrough, over a, a long, long, long time ago. But I'll leave it up to you whether we bring back Shadowheart or not. On top of that, we have Will, the human warlock. Love Will to bits. Or, last but not least, everyone's favourite, and you can't tell me it's not Karlak. Of course it is. The tiefling barbarian Karlak. So that's your next decision. Which one of these six companions do we romance? For those who have played Baldur's Gate 3, I do know that there are more companions than this in the game that we can also romance. But, for the sake of this playthrough we are going to keep with the first original six. If we end up doing a second playthrough, we may also be incorporating the other potential companions also. But for now, the original six, who shall we bang? <laughs> I'll leave that to you. I also needed you to decide on one other thing. I need you to decide on the companions class. We cannot change their race, however we can, later on in the game, respec these characters and whilst respecing, change their classes. So, whilst you're down there, I want you to write down Astarian, Lazel, Gale, Shadowheart, Will and Karlak and let me know what you would like their classes to be. Should they stay the classes they currently are? Or should we change, I don't know, a Starion into an Eldritch Knight? Should Lazel become a wizard? Should Gale become a barbarian? Should Shadowheart become a monk? Should Will become a sorcerer, a wild magic sorcerer? And should Karlak become a bard to join me in glorious musical madness? Let me know in the comments also, so not just are you voting on who should I romance, I want you to pick the companions class as we get into the game as well. Now as it comes to the other companions for later on in the game, you will be voting for them also, but I will let you know in when in the playthrough I want you to vote for those companions so it doesn't avoid spoilers of any kind. Okay? Okay. Now with that in mind, we also have one final choice for you guys to make. As of a result of this patch, Larian has updated the what happens when you complete an evil playthrough. There is an entirely new ending, and I want to try it out. However, that ending is dependent on you guys. So the very last option I want you guys to pick is this. Do we do a good playthrough? Or do we do an evil playthrough? If we do a good playthrough, I will do my best to pick all the best good boy options we can possibly make throughout the game. If you decide evil, I will side with evil and will do as much evil as evil could do. 
That will also affect the companions. Because the companions also have good and evil aligned endings or resulting in their or results in their story paths. It'll be up to you whether we be goodest good boy to Astarian or whether we turn him into the true vampire lord he's meant to be. And the same with Lazel, Gale, Shadowheart and the others. What would it be? Good or bad? All of these decisions that I have pointed out are yours to decide. I will go over them one more time so you know what we are going to be doing. First things first. Origin or Dark Urge? First major choice. And then when it comes to race, it'll be the subclass for Half-Elf. Do we go with High Half-Elf, Wood Half-Elf, or Drow Half-Elf? After that, if we go with a custom origin, what will our background be? Pick one of the many backgrounds from here, and that will decide that. As a Brucey bonus, if you so wish, you can help me pick my subclass, that is completely up to you, that's a boosty bonus one. Outside of character creation, which one of the original six companions will we attempt to romance? And on top of that, what class should we respec the original six companions to become? And last but not least, do we be a goodest good boy or do we be baddest bad boy? Those are your options, and I am looking forward to the comments to see where we end up. I look forward to your comments. By all means, post them, and I will see you for when we get around to record the very first installment of Baldur's Gate 3. Until then, stay safe, stay awesome, and most importantly, stay explosive. I'll be seeing you guys next time.